everyone, it's Kara and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my day 17 of Inktober and if you're wondering why I've not been posting every single day for Inktober, it's because uh, I've been busy with work. I don't have the time to sit down and do a video every single day for Inktober. However, I have been doing every single day and I've been posting them on my Twitter and my Musical.ly, or most of them are on my Twitter, not all of them. I was not proud of quite a few of them. But at the end of this month, if I manage to get through them all, and even if I don't get through all the days, I will still sit down and make a video showing and talking about all the different drawings I did for this last month. For today's theme, I decided to redraw a fairy design I created about a year ago. Um, October 29th, I posted a photo or drawing of a fairy that I drew, and I didn't really like the face on it. I had issues with the face ever since I actually drew it, and I've been wanting to redraw, but I really liked the coloring on her, so I didn't. And now I am, and I'm really happy I get to redraw her. I mean, I could have anyways, but I'm lazy, huh? So for this Inktober, I set a couple of goals for myself. Goal number one was to try and improve my speed of drawing by limiting myself to pretty much an hour maximum per piece. However, I broke my own goal with this drawing because I decided to take closer to three, four hours. I don't know entirely how long it's taken. I'm assuming somewhere between three and four hours on this piece. But I really wanted to redraw this fairy, so I decided one day wouldn't kill me to spend a little bit more time on something. Goal number two was to try and improve my inking because I've always had these really thin lines and there wasn't a whole lot of change in line weight in my art. So I decided to try and change line weight and play around with that a little bit. And I've had a lot of fun doing that. I've been using some of those um, Tombow pens for my September sketchbox video. And I have been in love with using them. They are wonderful. So that's what I've been playing around with as far as line weight. And you can kind of see it in this piece. I, I, I like how the line art came out so much. I am actually putting this on my Patreon as a coloring page because I loved it so much. So those are the two goals I've had set for myself. Um, I'm about to get into a bit of a ranty portion of this video, so if you don't like rants, you can just go ahead and mute me. Uh, I'm going to be ranting about some issues I've had with my very first Inktober, because this is my first. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to start that rant. <laughs> So, as I said, it was my first Inktober, or this year is my first Inktober that I'm actually participating in, and in the past, I've seen different artists on various social media, Pagey World, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, etc., using color, like colored inks, in their work, and I figured as long as it was ink, it counted. But apparently, when I posted my day two of Inktober to my Musical.ly and other social media, I got, I, I don't want to say it's a tax, but, and it, it's not really criticism either. I guess it is criticism. People were just telling me that you are not allowed to use color whatsoever. Like, that is not allowed. It has to be purely black and white, and it can only be, like, ink pens, nothing else. Which I thought was weird, because I've always seen these other artists I look up to using colored inks. Such as, like, Copic markers, for example, which is what I'm using because they count as an ink. I am so incredibly sorry for those of you who follow me on Twitter because you've heard me ranting about this and complaining all month every single time that I post a colored piece, which was only like two times that I actually did a colored piece and then one time where I did a black and white piece with some like color pop to it. But every time I post one of the colored pieces, people get on me about not being allowed to use colored ink. I know there was that whole digital artist participating in Inktober controversy going around where people were upset about digital artists trying to take part in the challenge and uh, I guess Jake said something about no digital isn't because it's kind of defeating the purpose. Um, 
that I can understand why there was controversy over it, but colored ink is a little weird to me. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just don't know. I think it's weird that people are attacking me for colored ink. Anyways, as far as digital art, I think they should be able to, as long as you're improving whatever area you work in, you do you, boo. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and do Inktober if you are a digital artist, because there's room for improvement everywhere. And... Yeah, people will get mad and say, like, well, this doesn't count, but honestly, you're improving yourself and practicing every single day, so I don't really see the issue. Well, that is it for this video. If you are not already and you'd like to be, subscribe down below. If you like my art, like the video, it supports me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!